All right, so this hands-free thing is pretty awesome. Um, really awesome, really. Um, just because now it's, you know, hands-free now. Um, I would like the sunglasses feature because I typically wear sunglasses, but I'm not wearing sunglasses right now. Otherwise, it would complain. Um, I mean, I would need to touch the steering wheel. All right. Okay, we cleared that. So the earlier versions of FSD would get awfully close to those curbs, and a few people have hit the curbs on FSD, so I, I would typically take over. Um, but this one, um, overall 12.5, I'm coming from 12.3.6, so I didn't get any of the 12.4 updates. Um, but 12.3.6 was honestly also really, really good. Um, but you did have to, you, there was, the steering wheel nag was there, so you, you still had to hey I'm here I'm paying attention um, okay so we're going 50 um, set the speed limit to 50 so everything is good it set it correctly it's so far there's been zero issues um, but let's talk about some of the issues I encountered the other day um, and it's not it wasn't an intervention um, it did make one mistake uh, where it was in the right lane and that right lane was going right and then at the very end it went to the left lane so it could go straight um, so that was kind of a mistake and um, generally it doesn't avoid potholes so that's one other thing that would be very very useful is if it avoided potholes so obviously Tesla makes the best um, self-driving system out there that's not um, you know that doesn't cost a whole bunch of money um, and that you can actually go and buy because you know some people might argue that oh well there's Waymo and that's level 4 and that's completely autonomous and it's like well it's not theirs is not an AGI it's not a general solution it's it works in certain pockets they need HD mapping there's, it's basically a whole bunch of code Whereas this one is all AI, so I have much more hope for this one because this is more of a generalized solution. It's kind of like teaching a human how to drive versus the other one, um, teaching a computer like, okay, if you're within these city limits, you know what to do. If you see this, you know what to do. Um, whereas with this one, it, it's just like, I mean, I'm sure you guys already know, AI is kind of like a human in a sense where it just learns kind of like a human and it just learns by watching and then and then it gets better and better, and that's kind of what Tesla does. Um, but so far, it's been really good. Um, another thing is, for some some of the parts, it does go a bit slow. Like sometimes, like the speed limit on the street is 50, for example, um, and sometimes it's just going like 42 or 44. And there's really no reason for it to be going 42 or 44. It's not like there's traffic or there's cars in front or anything like that. It's just. It's going a little slow and then I tapped accelerator and then it just speeds up and it just goes 50. So as soon as I kind of nudge it like, hey, you could go 50, it's like, okay, I'll go 50 now. Um, so now let's just talk about some of the other things. Um, so improvements over 12.3.6 that I've noticed. And again, 12.3.6 was all, already really, really good. Uh, this one's even better. Um, this one is, overall more smooth um, it's it basically breaks a little more human like where it's not breaking too hard granted it did break hard in a couple spots um, but generally speaking it does um, it does a pretty good job of, uh, of breaking smoothly uh, so actually earlier I was on the street and it was that's where the Camry is going right there that's where I was and you're kind of forced to make a right if you take that lane and then kind of towards the end then then I went left it's like oh I'm going the wrong way so let me kind of go left um, so that wasn't that great um, but you know it's it's not I don't think 12.5 is perfect I know it can do better um, but it's it's really really good and it's much better than pretty much any car system, any other um, auto driving system out there, essentially, from other cars. 
uh, they a lot of the other cars have much more limitations and really can't do this I mean it's kind of crazy like okay so I'm in the model 3 performance but you can you can be in a regular that's one thing I really like about Tesla so with some of the other with probably most of the other manufacturers like if you want a certain feature you have to get a certain trim level uh, so it's like oh you want you want ADAS oh well you need to get you know two levels up the whatever the LX trim or the EX or, or whatever it is depending on you know what OEM we're talking about uh, because on the lower trims they don't put the necessary cameras or, or radars I mean this this Tesla doesn't have any radars as far as I'm aware uh, my old one did my 2018 did um, but I think they stopped using that after a while um, but that's one really good thing I like about Tesla um, is that you could literally go get the most inexpensive base model 3 as of now and you can get full self-driving on it because all the Teslas come with all the necessary hardware and you don't have to get it right away you could you could get it later um, you could subscribe to it pay a monthly fee um, so there's there's lots of choices um, that Tesla offers that I, I really really like um, so and FSD like if you have a Tesla and you don't have FSD or you haven't experienced FSD uh, FSD is amazing like it wasn't that great a year or two years ago like I was still pretty amazed a year or two years ago that like my 2018 model 3 performance that I had like it's like wow this can you know kind of drive itself not perfectly I mean it did had a lot of phantom braking like like you see we're pretty much going straight now and you see the shadows that are cast from these trees uh, if it was a big enough shadow like it'd be going 40 or 50 and then it would just almost slam on the brakes and go down to like 15 or 10 and sometimes it would do that for the tunnels as well because it couldn't quite see um, so that was a major um, issue that that could have caused an accident like if someone wasn't too far away from you and you're going and they're not expecting you to slam on your brakes because you yourself isn't expecting that um, so there's that um, but but one thing I really like about Tesla I mean there's a lot of things I like about Tesla and that's why I pretty much buy their cars um, I mean the cars are amazing and and like the funny part is like this car the, the Model 3 performance is such a fun car to drive like it's almost like um, and also because it's new um, so it's like I haven't it's still kind of in that honeymoon phase or whatever you want to call it like I really kind of want to drive this thing uh, but for places like this it's like okay if I'm just going somewhere I mean the car could just drive me and it's fine and it's gonna do a really good job most of the time um, is it perfect no it's not perfect um, but it's I mean this thing is driving better than I, this thing already drives better than some people that I personally know um, it's smoother it stays in the lane perfectly it's not accelerating too hard it's not braking too hard um, really it's th the few things that are there and look I haven't touched the steering wheel at all um, the the few things that are the few things that okay so it's showing me there's a car next to me really it's like the avoid potholes and don't drive so slow and those are really the two things and then the drive so slow it's kind of doing that because it's on the safer side um, but sometimes it drives a little bit slower than it needs to uh, and I'm all for safety but sometimes it's a, it's a little too slow um, but if I take those two things away I mean this thing is amazing um, FSD is truly amazing